my apologies that I've not been able to upload videos for so long. I've currently for the past few weeks I've been super busy. My school started plus the other classes that I go to and with all of them combined I have lots of homework and I've not been finding enough time to shoot videos and upload them but recently I'm trying to adapt to this situation, the online schooling and now I finally got time to shoot the video. So this uh, video is not about Shark Tank, economy, business but this is just a short video that I'll be doing. So this video will be covering various topics. One important topic that I look forward to and one exclusive new topic. Okay, let's start. So today I'm going to be talking about one of the topics that really interested me. I came across it while I was doing one of the global perspective projects and it was quite interesting. It was about how COVID-19 has impacted unskilled and the skilled workers. Well, you know, the news talks about it all day, how the government helps them. But I wanted to know for my own, right? So I went down, I interviewed some of the people who work for my building, the gardener, the liftman, the watchman. And also I did some research about it. Okay, so let me tell you about all of these interviews. So one of the people I interviewed was a gardener. Well, he had no family and he was quite young. And because of the COVID, he had to shift to the building because they can't allow people just going in and out, right? So he likes the idea of staying in the building because the lodging is much better. But uh, one of the watchmen didn't like this idea because he did have a family and he wanted to go back to his family. But he had two options, to stay or to leave the job. So he decided to stay and also not to go anti-government but then the government does state that they do help a lot but not as much as they claim to. Uh, some of these people's uh, family don't get enough resources and they do have to buy themselves and send it to their families. Well, the government does help them in various other ways but not too much in the terms of resources. Also, some of the migrant workers uh, have or do also want to go back because while the government has been supplying them with food, uh, there are also other necessities like your masks, your sanitizers and your soaps. And for all of these, you got to pay out of your pocket. And another thing that's concerning me is the high level of unemployment. Well, the un unemployment rate has been flying off the charts. And this has really impacted the economy of India as well as other countries, I'm sure about it. And my research also tells me that unemployment rate has really increased. And because so many people are unemployed, the remaining people have a lot of workload on them. And one of these guys who I talked to, they told me that they want higher salaries which they are not being provided with. As they are working harder than before, but the salaries haven't increased at all and you know the workspace the environment has totally gone down because of the covid the lockdown and the friends aren't around either well i hope that the situation gets better really soon the lockdown finishes covid epidemic just vanishes or fades away and uh, these people should get their jobs back, the family should be taken care of, the government should put a bit more effort so that the families can stay safe, they can get all the necessities and food of course that they are already providing. The other thing that I wanted to talk about was that I was thinking to split the channel into two. One being the existing channel that will have your business, current affairs, shark tank and global perspective. And the other channel will have your marvel and I was thinking to do some gaming and other things about football. Not that I have many subscribers but I wanted to split both of them and focus on each so that I can improve in the topics. Well, guys, please keep supporting me and subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon, like the video, and share the video. And stick on Shan's Logic.